What's up, y'all? J. Roos Theory. I just want to talk about why do some people want to see you fail? Like, that always uh, fascinates me. And, you know, they usually are the people within your own crew. You know, they'll smile with you, laugh with you, and then you start telling them your plans and uh, things you'd like to happen. And uh, you sense a little animosity, envy, and jealousy. They start telling you why you can't do something. They're non-supportive when they could be supportive. And you can just sense that they don't want you to do well. Well, use that as fuel, you know. Use your pain, your uh, anything negative that they're throwing your way. Use that as fuel to keep doing what you want to do. If it's honorable, if it's something shady, then throw it away. But if it's honorable, use that as fuel. Don't let them discourage you. Don't let them... Um, say anything to deter you to tear you from your uh from your goals and some people you might just have to uh tell them to kick rocks barefoot on pebble beach because why fight the battle of trying to get them to jump on board your bandwagon if you know they secretly want you to fail why even let them in on your plans because all they're going to do is try to undermine it they're going to try to put little seeds of doubt in your head even if they don't know they're doing it they'll try to put they'll put seeds of doubt in your head whether aware or unaware and you're making your journey harder than it has to be and if you just can't live without those people in your life go accomplish your goals they want you to accomplish them I mean, get rid of those people temporarily then. Go accomplish your goals and then holler back at them once you reach them and then be like, hey, how you like me now? But uh, you'll probably get most of this resistance from uh, certain family members. You know, I don't know why. It's like <laughs> family don't want to see you do well sometimes. There's some cool family members, you know, but... Uh, there's a lot of family that just don't want to see you succeed. I don't know if it's because their life isn't going quite the way <laughs> the way they want it to. I don't know. But uh, you still got to go for the things you want or life becomes very boring and mundane. Um, you don't want to just be breathing. You want to enjoy your life. And you just want to find life is fun and you just feel more upbeat when you're doing something that you like to do, you know. I'm not really that happy unless I'm creating, you know. I'm a creative person. I've been writing raps since I was, like, in grade school. So I have to be creating something. I wrote a movie script. Um, I've been a constant writer. I remember in elementary school we had to write a fire slogan, and I was somewhere out somewhere. And when I came in class, everybody else was already writing their slogans and, you know, they were like deep in thought. I came, I came in the class, sat right down, wrote in like two minutes and won an award. I just been very creative like that. It just comes easy for me. So the things that you want to accomplish um, will probably be something that might come easy to you because you're talented at it. And it might not come easy just because of uh, certain obstacles, you know, some things people place in your way to make it harder so you know your talent might be easy to you but getting to the goal the, the finish line might be difficult based on who are the gatekeepers you know they may keep you out you you may be like man i'm the best writer ever but if the gatekeepers keep you out then it's going to be a little more difficult but you got to keep going gotta keep going anyway this is another public service announcement from jay roos Make sure to comment, share, subscribe. LSR forever. Be fearless. Yay, yay.